Hello on this wonderful autumn afternoon. We're now in Chicopee, Massachusetts along the Connecticut River and we're going to take a walk along the Connecticut River walkway and bikeway, the north section. Most people would just call it the Chicopee bike path. It's 2.5 miles long. It was built in the year 2014 and it ends in the north of Nashfield and Chickabee along the Chickabee, uh, Connecticut River. And it starts here at the Medina uh, Street Boat Access Launch, which is in the deep south of Chickabee along the river also. That's why they call it a river walkway and bikeway. So anything you want to know today? Um, so is it a popular bike path? Where does it start? Okay, it's a very popular bike path because it goes along the river. You get to see a lot of sights. Um, more towards the north is very popular where it's not around Nashville. As you go deep south, only a few people get on here because it's, it's deep in behind the residential uh, streets. And this and is used mostly right now for boat access, but some people do both. I came here once for with my kayak and, I, and my bike on my ramp. I had two slots and I did both that day. So 10 years later, it's still looking good. Now we can't do all of it in one day. This is just an instruction. So I'll walk up in a bit and just turn around for you, right? So it starts here and ends in Nashville. And let's get going. All right, so you can park in the boat access ramp location. And you can then go upwards and get onto the bike path. And up here they have a special parking lot. Just for the bicycle riders. And the bicycle riders uh, will come in with their car top ramps and they'll put their bikes up there, to take them off and ride 2.5 miles north and back. So a total of five miles. And on a fall day like this, you start to get the foliage effect. And you also get the Connecticut River in view. So this is the start of it. Starts with a sign and a triangle and it's a nice path. I would call it about eight feet across and two lanes, so each lane is four feet across. All right. And they have bikes. Uh, <coughs> the bike riders have these benches and the walkers too. So you can walk it or bike it. Now the southern half of the Connecticut River walkway and bikeway is in Springfield and there they have approximately the same length along the river with I think a three three access points instead of two and there you pretty much start where the Hall of Fame starts and then you walk you can walk north by two different bridges and that one's fun to go on too. Okay, we're going under the Interstate 90 bridge. Well, it's a little louder. And that's called the Turnpike, built in 1955. So this beautiful bike path was built only a few years ago. 10 years ago. So, at least they're trying to beautify the area. Now we're coming up to the first bridge. It's a beautiful bridge. And on most of the, the bike path, you can see the Connecticut River. And you got a, a view out there. And you get a treat because you got a nicely made bridge right here. Okay, and you can see it's a straight 
beam, straight line bridge. It's dry right now, but it's not always dry. Okay, and over this side, give you a hint what it is. It's a okay, so you're in your first residential area here, and it, it has a place for bike riders to get onto it from the residential area instead of the boat launch area. All right, and that's wonderful to see. And then it has a levee out here. The reason why this dike is put in place is because there are so many floods in Chicopee in 1930s, especially 1936 and 1938, that they put flood walls, plus they put a dike system. There is a pump house somewhere, so it's a true dike system. You know, you can walk on the dike, but you're not supposed to ride your bike on the dikes. All right? And you can see it meets with the bike path at this location. So you can either do one of two things, walk the top of the, the dike, or walk on the bike path on walkway. Okay, and it's open to this residential neighbor. So they did a great job. Soon after they had the boat launch, they have this residential access point. All right, so you can do two things here. So what I'll do is end with a 360 from this point. You have lots of things to see around this area. And thank you for coming here.